I'm Gemma. And I'm Rebecca. And we're the founders of Rain. Rain. Statement, armour, feminist, luxury. All locally made. Rain is a play on feminism and um, the idea of being reined in and held back. Um, and actually the fact that we are trying to break down those barriers. Everything we do is about a play on revealing and concealing the body of restricting and trapping our models but also revealing um, and seducing the audience through the tempting laser cut layers and the mesh. This was that particular collection, Heroin, ultimately began from a trip I took to India. I was really interested and fascinated by not only the culture of how women are kind of seen, but also was really interested um, in the architectural aesthetics and the designs and the beautiful prints and patterns. Hi, I'm Amanda Curtis, CEO and co-founder of 19th Amendment. Our mission at 19th Amendment is to give shoppers an opportunity to purchase garments from designers and to really have that artistic experience that fashion was meant to, meant to do. We looked at Rain's application we saw such potential. Their branding is amazing. They have a very strong vision and it's functional. You can wear it. So it's actually like wearing a piece of art. It was a great combination of being sexy, wearable, and not too, it didn't show off too much. And I think that's really what made it so sexy. Why are you excited to be a part of the 19th Amendment? I really love the collection and we um, had a chat set up our, uh, our pieces on 19th Amendment. The great thing about the, the setup on 19th Amendment is you can see who's looking at the pieces and where people are buying pieces. So it gives you a really good idea of, of where your customers are. There are two powerful women who are creating a line meant for other powerful women. And I kind of see a lack of that right now. I think that's a strong mission and vision that they can bring to women. It's that empowerment through clothing. 